unnatural bases. I'll explain that a little bit later on. But make the heading now. And if I never come back to give you an explanation, then remind me. So, let's have a crack at this. Now, quickly to summarize, and it's one of the best, easiest things to ever remember, you'll never forget it, even after just spending a day on it. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, right? So, e to the x is this special number, this 2.7, and I'm not gonna do it today, but later on, if you're curious, like, why is it that number, we'll come to it. But it's a special number such that, if you raise that to the power of x, you differentiate that, pops back you to your original function. But when you have bases other than that special number e, you get like so close, you get an exponential, but it's off by scale. It was like above or below. So we multiply by, I think I called it, did I call it m or n? m. m is what I called it, because I'm going to use k for something later. So it's like the exponential you started with, but not quite. Okay. Now, for this reason, this base E is called the natural base, right? It's the, it's the one where all the interesting calculus happens. And that's why when you look at logs, which we're gonna to come to later this week, um, in exactly the same way, we focus on this base of E. It's when you have LN, right? That notation, right? It means log natural. What's the natural log? What's the natural base to choose for logs? And the answer is, well, it's a base of E, right? So when you have other bases, bases that aren't E, this is not official at all, it's just what I call them. They're sort of unnatural. You're like, what do I do with this? It's awkward. How do I fix this? Okay. So what I want to do right now is try and find out what the Dickens that is. Okay. What is that constant at the front? Can I find out what it is and not just say it's a constant that I don't know about? Is there some way to actually find out its value? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let us try and unpack this using our knowledge of exponentials and logs. And um, you're going to need to think back to last year when we did this. So let y equal a to the x. Okay. Now, this is a problem to deal with to begin with because I don't, I don't know what this is. So I want to try and classic mathematical problem solving strategy. I want to convert this into a problem that looks like one I can solve. Right? We've been doing this all day, all year, your entire school career, okay? So what I want to do is, if I'm not very good at dealing with unnatural bases, let's turn it into a natural base. Okay, so how do I do that? You need to remember something. Maybe put this off on the side, okay? If you take um, log of e to the x, log of e to the x, we know that these guys are kind of opposites of each other, right? So if you think about this guy, natural log is going to be with a base of e, and think back to your log laws, what can you do with that power of x over there? You can bring it out the front, it becomes this coefficient, right? Then you get left with log base e of e. Now, what is that? That's just x, okay? The log base e of e is just one, okay? Now, this is taking the log of an exponential because they're inverse of each, inverses of each other. But it stands to reason that if they're really like symmetrical, inverse, I should be able to do the same thing in the opposite direction, right? Instead of taking the log of an exponential, I can take the exponential of a log. Okay? Now, if you have a think about this, and I'll let you go back to where you did this, if I said, okay, let's make this something like this, right? How would you get back to finding out what this was actually equal to? Hmm. Look at what we've got on the board. All the knowledge you need, all the reminder of your log laws is there. What could you do? How did I get out of here? What did I do? 
I wrote this as a proper log, worked out what its base was, right? And then I used a log law. Okay, well, I'm gonna, the way to use log laws is to put some logs in here. So I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides. Is that okay? Just log of this, log of that. Do you see where this is gonna go? Do you see what's going to happen? Log of k equals, it's in the power, just like it was before. What's gonna to happen to that power? It's gonna come out the front, right? Because that's, that's that. So this is log x log e. I've seen this before, haven't I? Like 30 seconds ago, yeah? Log k equals log x. So k is x. Do you see what I've done? So I'm going to take advantage of that fact over here. Instead of writing y equals a to the x, I'm going to write y equals log of, <clears throat> oh sorry, wrong one, I'm doing this one on the left hand side, e to the power of log that. I admit it looks very awkward and strange. Why would I do this and use this, um, like clearly this is more complicated and messy than this, okay? Well, do you remember what my original problem was? Like, why couldn't I, why was this a non-starter? It's because it has an unnatural base. So what I'm gonna do is rewrite it in such a way so it does have a natural base. Are you with me so far? Okay, so far so good. For the third time in like two minutes, I'm gonna use a log law on this. See that x in the power? I don't wanna write it in the power, where else will I put it? as the coefficient over here. So this will come e to the power of x log a. Are you okay with that? Happy? Now I'm pretty much there. I wonder if you could sort of take over from here. Um, I'm gonna rub off everything that's green, but if you want me to rewrite it, I can. I can. Um, it's just to help us get to this point, really. Can we differentiate what we can see here? Is this in a form that I can actually work with? I think it is, right? Can't I just use chain rule on this thing? I'll just use chain rule. So if that's y, then dy on dx equals, okay, what's the inside function? It's x log a, but don't forget, a is just a number, like two, or 1.5, or 10, whatever you put into Desmos, right? So if a is just a number, then the log of a is also just a number, right? So what's the inside derivative? If the inside function was 5x, you'd say the inside derivative is 5. If the inside function was pi x, you'd say that the inside derivative was pi. Well, this is just log a times x, just like this. So the inside derivative is just log a. Yeah? What's the outside derivative? It's e to the power of blah, 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 right? e to the power of x log a, but that's awkward, isn't it? Like I only put it into that form so I could do some differentiation with it. This is what that really is. That's where it came from. You see that? You see how all these right-hand sides are all equal? So therefore this is log a, that was the derivative of the inside, and then just a to the x, what you started with, okay? Now, as you can see, this is a little bit confusing here with the brackets and the a's together. So ordinarily this is written backwards. We put that a to the x, out the front as a coefficient, and then you've got a log a hanging out on the end, okay? So this solves the mystery of what the m was over here. This, whoop, there we go. This is m, okay? So it's actually very, very simple to use. If you differentiate, like that first one that we started with was two to the x, right? If a is two, this is just going to be two to the x, log 2. There's the log a. Okay. <coughs> Come in, girls. One of the tests of a good rule is that it works with everything else that you've used before, right? Well, this is sort of what we started with. Does this still hold true? And it does, because if you put into here the derivative of um, e to the x using this longer version of the rule, right, you just get e to the x log E, but that's, that's just one, right? So that's why it just disappears and you get the simple version like we've seen already, okay? So, when you have a look at question seven, seven, I think it is, um, you'll get all these unnatural bases and it's just a slight modification of the rule. But if you want to, you can put a 
um, big box around this if you like, because this covers now all of the exponentials you'll ever meet. Um, whether their bases are nice ones or not so nice. Any questions?